What you know about black? The forum is the format. It's MAZ and Tomcat. Who cares who came before that? You should trust me, it's official. Don't just take the flow for granted. We discuss important issues. What's remote and local? Oh, shit. <laughs> Weapon to the head. 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 Weapon Y'all know what time it is. I am the MAZ. It's my guy, Cuz, Big Cuz, Side Esquire. What it do? What it do? We got a special, special guest today. This is Big Cuz, Tom Perrin. How you doing, Big Dog? What's happening, fellas? What's yeah, going man. on? Yeah, we, man. Welcome, man. Welcome man, to the plaque, man. Thanks for having me, man. This is a supreme honor. You just don't know. Well, come on, bro. <laughs> I'm just a guy. <laughs> <laughs> we gonna get just into, a guy. We gonna get into everything that he do, man. But uh, first, I'm gonna say... I want all you guys to like, share, and subscribe to the channel. Please leave comments because it's all about y'all. This ain't about us. We just trying to put out good t content and everything for y'all. Real talk, real yeah, talk. Yeah, all right, shout out to my baby. Shout out to my baby, Tom Cash. You see, she's not with us again. You know what I'm saying? Time up. Time up. Get better, baby. We love you. Love you know what it is. Yeah, so. so let's let's jump into it. it. Let's jump on into it, bro. Shoot. All right. Hey, hey man, shit, man. What's do? Hey man. <laughs> <laughs> hey man, y'all tell me, man. You know, I'm um, like I said, I'm just a guy, right. and um, uh, I guess to give a little bit of quick history, I am the oldest cousin on my mother's side of the family. This is my younger brother, right Big Sai. Mm. This is my cousin Maserati. You did, you know, and some people. Behind the scenes, you Real know, family, who you know. remain remain nameless right now, <laughs> but uh, they know their effect and um, you know what they mean to this family also. So, right on, right on. Right on, um, sure. you know, this is uh, like I say, truly an honor for me, you know, because it like fortifies what um, you know how the family feels about their area, they are uh, their elders, and um. You know the history of the family that we're trying to keep the legacy going for my grandparents and ancestors and things like that. So it's real refreshing to be a part of this right on. because um, you know we've done pretty well with keeping that going. And um, I can say it's a, it's a real pleasure and honor to be here. That's big, so, man. Man. Thank you. So hit me with the dirt. Shoot, man. Hey, hit me, man. Tell me. Well, first of all, first of all, you guys, you know, what I'm saying you all across the board, man, with your talents and everything. But first, we want to. You know what I'm saying? Step on this uh, IT, man. It's just, you've been an IT specialist for as long as I've been living, <laughs> man. Like, you know what I'm saying? What, man? Let, let the people know, man. Let the people know how easy or hard it is to jump to that IT game. Okay, yeah. Yeah, okay. We can uh, we can step off into that. Yeah, majority of my uh, working career, I've been in electronics, telecommunications, and IT, and things of that nature. Um, I actually started off in the Air Force as a telephone maintenance specialist, okay, so all the little, remember the old dial-up phones and the push-button phones and all that, I'm, da I'm dating myself, I know. <laughs> <laughs> well, I started out working with those and um, climbing the poles and the towers and the, you see the Comcast people doing that, because doing that years ago. Damn. Okay. Um, right. So, being in the Air Force, after I left Germany, which was my, that was my primary role over there in Germany. I came back to the Pentagon, I started working more with uh, computers and networking and things of that, of that nature. I, I heard, heard, I heard. Yeah, yeah, I was with a special group called um, Seventh Support. And what we did was um, provide all the installation of the crypto equipment and advanced technology for the Secretary of Defense, Joint Chiefs of Staff, mm. Defense Intelligence Agency, the White House. Okay. And, right. um, yeah, so I had to have the highest security clearance that an enlisted person. I got questions. Have. I got questions. Uh, yeah, I know. Girl, keep going, but I yeah. got, man, oh, I, see. Sure. I heard that. I was like, oh, <laughs> help me out with some things. So <laughs> when I was stationed there, I w that's when I started really getting into the IT uh, side of communications. And, uh, Depending on uh, where your interests lie, I mean, if you if you're good with uh, computers and, and software and programming, you can go on that side of IT. IT is not just one coverall mm -hmm. uh, 
you know, subject. It's many branches of IT. So you can go to networking, security, uh, programming, things of that nature. So find out what you're good at, what your interest is. You know, if, you, if you're good with uh, your hands, you might want to go into uh, uh, get your A-plus certification because that's basically building computers and, um, you know, knowing the components and things like that. If you're, you know, you're watching uh, TV shows like CSI or cybersecurity stuff, Mm -hmm. You may want to venture off into that portion of it, mm -hmm. you know, mm -hmm. and uh, things of that nature. So find out what's interest, uh, what's of interest to you, and um, you know, follow that path. Mm -hmm. And um, it's it's you don't have to be a brainiac. You ain't got to be. That's what I was about to ask you. This, you ain't got to be uh, some kind of brain surgeon to right. jump into this computer field, man. Somebody can just yeah. Somebody you know, once you take your basics and of data networking, you know, everything can branch off of that. Mm -hmm. But now. If you do have a little egghead in you, <laughs> you might want to <laughs> stick with the programming. So right on. That's that right on. language, you know, yeah. right Curl, on. SQL, all this, you know, yeah. code ball. Well, that's old, but anyway, programming. Yeah, yeah. them yeah. Call of Duty motherfuckers that be. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Yeah, yeah. 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 The, geek, the Geek Squad and yeah. you know, all that yeah. shit, the, uh, okay. the hackers. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's a whole nother area, you know, and I'm not that bright for that. <laughs> How long was you with the Pentagon uh, situation? How long was that? And I was stationed at the that? Pentagon for two and a half years. That was my last tour of duty in the Air Force, and um, it got it got really deep. Really? I mean, I was actually working with the Secretary of Defense on a daily basis. You know, he wasn't ever in the office a lot, but it, his office was like really big, and we had a project that um, we had to replace all of his. You know, crypto, I ain't got no mics around. Yeah, no, no. <laughs> we had to replace all his crypto equipment. Nobody will office. see this. So right. <laughs> no, I've been trying. To, I don't want to put. I don't want to put bro on the spot or nothing on camera. Whatever, but I've been trying. He's been real hush hush about some of the shit. I'm telling you, he knows something about that alien shit and a lot of shit. That, you know what I mean? He won't tell me shit, I mean, man. I know he he got some shit. You know? <laughs> Maybe you know I'm one deep. day. Maybe after on your deathbed. Yeah. <laughs> like, don't tell me. <laughs> don't tell me what you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, but um, but yeah, it's, it's a lot of. It seems like it's a rabbit hole. It, mm -hmm. it, 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 it is. I um, my last job, I was in charge. And uh, you younger cats probably don't remember this, but when Reagan was in office, mm -hmm. he started this program called Star Wars Defense. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. And um, I was the the lead of that project, putting in all the telephone equipment and crypto equipment and everything, fiber optic cables, you know. Me and my crew did that whole wing for the Pentagon. So, um, shit. Yeah. And I heard, I heard, I heard rumor that that actually real talk that that was kind of on some alien defense. Yeah, shit. yeah. Seriously, you, you that's what I heard. Say, uh, he uh, called it Star Wars, but yeah, that's what it was. Was that true? The, the, the initial the initial uh, premise of it was to be able to shoot down missiles during the Cold War, in case Russia. Decided to press the button on us. We had mm -hmm. some up there to intercept the missiles. Mm -hmm. Right. That was the primary. Uh, that's what they told the public. Right. Okay. So. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> Here we go. Yeah, yeah. Right. right. <laughs> yeah. Last episode of the Black. <laughs> <laughs> I will. I will say it. It was capable of doing that. It. It was capable of doing that. Mm -hmm. Okay. And the thing that Russia had against it was they viewed it as a first strike weapon instead of a defense weapon. Okay. Mm. So we'll leave it at that. Right on. No <laughs> doubt. No doubt. Hey, man. <laughs> what happens on platform stays on platform. <laughs> All right. So, right. Uh, yeah, man. All right. Well, that's interesting, man. On that IT tip, man. Yeah. yeah. For the people that want to go down in that field. Right. I would say, you know, basic, definitely start with intro to data networking. Any kind of free courses or, 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 or courses you can find. That uh, is an intro. Right Definitely start there, and um, it'll start coming to you. You take the course, you be like, oh, oh, that's right. Okay, that's right. And then once that starts catching in to you, you off and running. Right. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, man. Let's talk about you know what I'm saying. You also an accomplished uh, musician, man. Oh, uh, don't say and, that. Uh, ah. You know what I'm saying? And DJ. Oh, dude. Hey, we talking about? We thought we talked about this. <laughs> Let's talk. Let's talk about this music, okay. man. What's your I got a question for both of y'all, real quick. Yeah, go. So both of y'all live here, and y'all stay in Georgia. 
Right. He had the versus thing with uh, Gucci and Jeezy. Oh, yeah. Not. yeah. So, like, just real quick, would y'all say, like, uh, who was popping harder? Uh, or who did y'all gravitate to more so on that on that tip? Or who, like, or at least the the basic consensus in Georgia, who was really like the person, the guy, in uh, down there for uh, either him or either Gucci or Jeezy. I know that's kind of to me. Topic, to me. To me. No. 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 Uh, all, no. Man. To me. To me. It was always. It was always Jeezy popping on a more. I mean, if you talking, I don't know what people really be basing it on street cred or underground or whatever. You know what I'm saying? Are you but, talking culturally, like what the yeah, people down there vibe yeah, yeah. with, or what we personally vibe? With? Uh, I say, I say personal, personal. Okay. Because y'all, we both y'all. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. From me, y'all was here and there. So y'all. Probably I mean, just I mean, it personally, like, yeah, personally, Jeezy. Jeezy, man, Jeezy. Oh, I mean, okay. it seemed like even here, well, yeah, yeah Jeezy, yeah. man, it's just you know, I mean, oh, it's, oh, it's, oh, it's, 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 but I fuck with Gucci though. Mm -hmm. I do. You know his older stuff. Yeah, yeah. There you, there you go. The pre, yeah, the pre clone go. shit. Yeah, the, yeah, the early clone shit. Yeah, yeah, man. Uh -huh. Yeah, man. And I'll just fuck with Oh, look, segue and shit. Yeah, I, you know, ain't no clone in the world. Yeah, but, yeah, but, yeah, but um, overall, I would say Jeezy for me. Yeah, yeah, yeah definitely. definitely. say the same. Definitely Jeezy, yeah. I just had to hear it real quick. Oh, man, you know. Oh, man. He, he knew what he asked us. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> we all, we all, right. all but, got, uh, you know what I'm saying, got similar. a similar taste. Yeah, yeah. we all got great yeah. taste. Impeccable. Yeah. I mean, that's like, yeah, <laughs> fuck it, yeah. So anyway, <laughs> really was on you though. We just speak yeah, on you. Ah oh, man, shit, it's all well. And how how long you been at it or messing with it or you been? I started. Um, I no longer DJ, but I started DJing. Um, I think my senior year in high school, and um, you know, it kind of just took off with it from there. I um, went straight to the military after high school. And then that's when I started. The first thing I started doing was just buying records, just buying records, just you know, just every like a bill. Every, yep. every mm -hmm. paycheck. Mm -hmm. My first mm -hmm. month was twelve inch dance records down in D.C. or or uh, they had one. They had one in uh, Germany. I was in Germany actually, and uh, they had a you know a DJ shop in downtown Wiesbaden in Frankfurt, and I would take the train on there every damn week, every chance I got, and come back with about. 50 or 60 records. Get cussed out by my then <laughs> wife. And, you know, you spent all this money on DJ or whatever. Okay. <laughs> and, um, Jay Dilla. And just kept, kept, you know, working on. My main thing about DJ was uh, keeping the music flowing smooth, same beat. Being able to change the tempo without you even recognizing it as it's going. Mm. And uh, so I, I focus more on that. Um, just seamlessly being able to blend music in. I wasn't a big scratcher, you know, uh, back right, in the day. Right. You know, but I could cut records real good, you know, like just like bam and just keep it going, you know what I'm saying? And um that led to a lot of different uh gigs that, you know, where I did weddings, I was the bass wedding DJ, I was the bass whatever DJ, you know, I really started uh, blowing up and started going around little different areas in Germany playing in uh, different bases and things like that. Then I wound up coming back to the D.C. area in the Pentagon mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and just kept it going on a private level, right. you know, still doing weddings and parties and was getting a little, getting a little name for myself down there in the yeah. D.C. area. Notoriety and shit. Right, sure. right. And um, then the, the new age started coming, you know, with the uh, CDs and the right. playlists and things like that. And it seemed like for a period of time, the appreciation of the craft of DJing start dwindling. Right? As long as you have four songs, you can rock a whole party <laughs> with four songs. <laughs> Whatever was hot on the radio, some by Frankie Beverly, a go-go song, and an electric slide song. Yeah. You got the whole party. <laughs> yeah. I ain't got time. Yeah, so I gave it up. You lost, you lost a lot of the soul and shit. Today. I lost, yeah, you lost, man. You lost the heart. I'm up here sweating. I mean, Doing the damn hours, thing, man. Trying to, you know, yeah. Probably put a playlist yeah, all the, it ain't, it ain't like it used okay. to be. It ain't I'm like done. it used to be, bro. And then they stopped making vinyl too. Yeah, you know, that's, that's that, yeah. yeah. So that it just made a comeback now recently, mm -hmm. in the past few maybe five, ten years. But you know, right. that was one of the, some of the well, basically the main thing that you know. Man, me <laughs> man I just uh, <laughs> so I just DJ uh, my uh, my my little niece's party. You know what I had. You know what I DJ with? My phone. Oh yeah. 
Oh yeah, and a big ass. That's what we. And that that's was the, man. And that's what I heard. <laughs> that's what we brand. DJ. That's what we DJ parties with now. Right. That's all Bluetooth. Well, yeah. They well they have a you know they got the uh, the DJ uh, apps and things where you can you know actually blend in your. Oh yeah. Right there on the phone. Yeah. It's, yeah. yeah it's, 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 so. Strange ways, but uh, no, on the uh, though, that's DJ tip. Now, what's mm -hmm. on like on the because you're a musician as well, man? Like, you, yeah, that's the rumor, okay. anyway. Um, <laughs> I hear that, I, I got ears, yeah, I hear things, I hear things. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I dabble a little bit some, in um, some maybe we could, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I dabble a little bit in um, I started out playing the piano and uh, the keyboards basically all by ear. Um, I um. I, you know, I got myself pretty pretty decent at one point, and, um, you know, life intervenes and things like right. that. I've mm. um, been in several bands, um, and just that overall experience, you know, has it's, it's, it's been great. I still, you know, keep my ear on it, and every now and then go and, um, you know, do a little something, something. But I'm not active right now mm -hmm. as far as, uh, you know, mm -hmm. playing and everything like that. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so a little bit of the keys, a little bit of bass, you know, some drums, and some singing every now and then. But you know, I just, okay. you know, keep my appetite wet. But yeah, yeah, so. We're going to get into it a little bit then. What you think? Okay, we can, you know. A little bit. I, I might can, you know. You might a little bit. Yeah. Just, yeah. Just, just, for, just, just for the people, man. Just for the yeah. people that, that, you know what I'm saying, might want to get into uh, either either IT or like DJing or whatever. Okay. What's the biggest, what's the biggest gig you had as far as DJing? And what's the biggest money you made on an IT level as opposed to the lowest? Okay, good question. Biggest money on a DJing gig. I played a corporate retirement party in DC um, maybe about 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. And uh, I took home about three racks nice. for that gig. Ooh, nice. Yeah, three Shit. racks. Now that you know, that's not the average. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. don't be all shit. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> DJ shit. No, no, no. That was uh, abnormal. I would say on the average, I was getting between five and a rack on the average uh, DJ gigs at my peak. Right. Okay. Um, yeah, but that that one uh, corporate gig. And real quick, interesting enough, it was uh, of course mostly Caucasian. Okay. Uh, mostly elderly people. Okay. But at some point, during the, towards the end of that party, I had about maybe a hundred elderly Caucasians doing a humpy dance. Damn, oh, dog. Oh, man. <laughs> oh, my God. What? That's oh. a real story. Oh, my God. Man. So, it's, it's, you know, it was in that, thing. that was live, man. It was live oh, as shit. hell, dog. That shit I mean, really universal, ain't it? Yeah. Man. I mean, I'm playing really? the Glenn Millers and the, yeah, all you know, that. Yeah, all that old You had all that shit on there. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, had, I had it. You know, off the records. Yeah, yeah. Oh, this was all records, all vinyl. So I'm playing the wow. big, the big band stuff back in the day, Count Basie and all that shit. <laughs> but then, yeah, after a while, <laughs> I do it started with this little old white lady. She came up and asked for the electric slide. You know, that the first one, you know, right. yeah. you can do it, all that shit. <laughs> and I did not like that song, but I knew I had to have it. Yeah. So I played it, and they got on out there, they, you know, cripping around, trying to do something. I'm going to do it now yeah, to yeah, their credit. Yeah. And then from that, I'm like, okay. <laughs> See what's going on. Like, start reading Let me run, run this real quick. Yeah, yeah, do not you judge know? a book by its cover. You don't <laughs> know shit. Right. Hey, they, sure. they was out there getting it, man. They had, it's, it just let you know that. You know, humans, universally, we are souls, you know, at the bottom line. Do you and, do, um, man. Yeah. You know, That's solid. and when the soul is moved, they move with it, you know. Come on, we, <laughs> you connect, know we connect on a greater level connect. than we think. Yes. Hey, bro, I That's think we, uh, you know what I'm saying, mm -hmm. about, to, about to wrap it on up and everything. You know okay. Hey, man. You know what I'm saying? Pleasure, man. Man, pleasure's ours, bro. You know what I'm saying? Yes, hey, man, if y'all got wonderful. talent, if y'all got talent, if y'all got something going on in your life, man, you can be a guest on Platform too, bro. Mm -hmm. Um. Like, share, subscribe, man. We love y'all, man. It's always a pleasure, man. Uh, M A Z. Hey, Tom. Appreciate you. Pete, man. Hey, Sorry, man. Sorry, man. You know what it is, man. We out. Oh, real quick though, that I didn't answer the. Sorry about oh, that. Oh, the other one. Yeah, the last. One. <laughs> Highest amount of bread I made at an IT gig was about eighty-seven five. 
Oh, fuck yeah. DJing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 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 I sat on that joint. And really? 87.5. 87.5 was, was my highest. And honestly, it should have been a lot higher. But, um, yeah, so you can expect to make an upwards... Of uh, staying in school, kids. That, that's how you end. A, that's how you end a show, man. With money talk, man. Talk that money talk, bro. God, yeah. Hey, okay, yeah. I like that shit. Nice. What's uh, up, bro? Play Eighty-seven more, five. Man. We out. We out. <laughs> <Come on>. <laughs> <laughs> Shout out to my babies, <laughs> Tony, so Johnny, Kayla. You still rolling? Okay. Okay. Uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. All, all my family oh, friends that uh, we don't have time to go through, but y'all know I'm with you. Y'all yeah. know I'm next. <laughs> yeah. Shout, Shout, out. Out. Shout out to everybody, man. Platform, Shout man. Out. We out, I think. We out. I think we out. 875. <laughs> Don't you agree? <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let's make a deal right now. <laughs>